Rachel here at Cozy Corner Crochet. I just came on today to show you my exciting news. I finished my cold shoulder sweater from my Good Earth Yarns that I ordered from Premier Yarn. Um, this is a cotton linen blend yarn. When I first started the project I was kind of leery. I wasn't sure it was going to drape well. But I finished the sweater, I washed it, and um, it drapes just fine. I really love the color. It's just gorgeous. I like this sweater a lot. Um, the only thing I wish I probably should have made a medium because it is a little big, but it's comfortable and I really like it for a spring summer type sweater. Um, I have a white tank top on underneath and you can see how it connects just here at the shoulder and then here about halfway down the sleeve. The sleeves are a little bit longer than I thought they would be. I think that's just because I made the large instead of the medium. But I'm kind of like in between those two sizes so sometimes I'm not sure whether I should go up or stay down. Um, and I started making the medium and it just didn't look like it was going to be big enough so I made the large. But anyways, this is the cold shoulder sweater and this is called the Lily of the Valley Top. And in the last few videos I've linked the pattern in the description below. I'll do the same with this video. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you that it was all done and this is what it looks like. I hope you all like it. Um, just a few other things I wanted to show you. I don't have a lot in the way of finished objects because I did finish the sweater this week. Um, I do have uh, my temperature blanket now is up to um, April 3rd, I guess. Um, so you can see, I'll fold it up. This, you can see where it ends there. That's April 3rd. Um, today is the 7th, so I'm a few days back behind again um, as far as adding the squares. I have to admit that in March, after the 15th of March, I kind of let things go a little bit. So the last few days I've been feverishly making granny squares and connecting them to the blanket. So I had, I think, like almost 20 to do that I was behind. So I did catch up, so now I'm only three or four days behind. So I'm going to do a few of those this evening before I go to bed. Um, and then I'll connect them tomorrow. Um, so that's my temperature blanket. I really do like the way it's turning out. And I have decided that I'm going to take a yarn and either embroidery or I'm not sure how to get it on there but I'm going to um, stitch the months on each white square and then on the end there will be one white square at the end and I'm going to stitch 2019 to that. So that looking back I remember that this is that year and it's kind of neat to do this year because this is the year that my, gradu my daughter is graduating from high school so it's kind of a special year for us so um, this is a great keepsake for that. So. That is my temperature blanket. Um, next thing I want to show you is another work in progress and um, a good friend of mine who is a teacher that I taught with has since retired stops in to visit me at my other job occasionally and his daughter who was a former student of mine was due to have a baby and she just had her baby um, a few days ago. She had a little boy so I am crocheting them a little blanket and I decided to do a granny square blanket and this isn't really the traditional baby boy blue color but um, they have they're doing the baby's room in a woodland animal pattern and um, the colors in the room were kind of like the um, they were similar to this color so I thought that this would fit with their color scheme well and then I found some patterns for um, appliques that were like a little moose and a little squirrel and a little fox so I'm going to choose one of those I'm not sure which one um, I was waiting to pick which one until I'm finished with the blanket to see which one I think is going to go the best but I'm going to applique one of those little animals on the corner right like right on the corner of the blanket um, to go with their woodland animal theme so I'm excited about that and I'm using the toasty sweet cakes that I got at Hobby Lobby um, these were the ones that I got in clearance for ten or uh, I'm sorry a dollar seventy four. This one was called Truffle Me Truly. So if you're curious as to what that colorway looks like, these are the colors in that colorway. Um, I really like them. I think they're really pretty. Um, so that's my work in progress. Um, one thing I did get at Hobby Lobby that I didn't show you um, the last time I was on was this piece of fabric. I purchased this piece of um, home decor fabric because I wanted to make a bag 
to contain my Amish yarn swift because it's kind of like the pieces aren't in any kind of a bag or anything so I wanted to make a pretty bag that I could just put all of those pieces in there and cinch it shut and store that so I found this pre-cut piece of fabric that was on sale I think I paid two dollars for it um, and I really like the pattern and it, I think it's big enough that I can make a nice little drawstring bag out of it for my yarn swift so I'm gonna work on that at some point um, my sewing machine is rather buried in my closet because I don't do much sewing so it might be a while till I get around to doing that because I have some other projects planned as well so um, and then once I finish this baby blanket the next thing I want to work on is the um, I want to do the Winnie the Pooh Amakurumi and I've decided to make Pooh first and then Piglet and those are the two that the things are contained in the kit to make those two items and then I wanted to make um, Laurel from the Dabbling Hook has a pattern for the Yvette shawl and I got that and I wanted to make that with my um, one of the yarn cakes that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I should have it with me. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So this is the yarn that I want to use to make the Yvette shawl. And this is the Toasty Sweet Berry Crisp yarn. Um, and it is 75% acrylic, 25% wool. And so I want to make that shawl out of this. I have two cakes of this and they are 253 yards a cake so I'm I'm hoping that there's enough in the two cakes to make the shawl as big as I want to make it so I'm gonna try that out and see how it goes um, I debated on using this for the baby blanket uh, because it is blue but I really the reason I bought this was for that Yvette shawl and um, after seeing the picture of the nursery for the baby's room I thought this would actually go a lot better than this does so I decided to keep this for the Yvette shawl and use the other colorway for the baby blanket so yeah um, honestly that's all I've been up to this week as far as crochet goes I've been doing a lot of working on my granny squares to catch up with my temperature blanket and uh, finishing my sweater out um, I do have a picture finally of the steering wheel cover that I made a few weeks back so I'm going to attach that at the end of this video if I can get it to upload. I've been having trouble uploading pictures from my phone to my laptop so we'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah I guess that's about it for today. So thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing um, to my videos. I really hope you enjoy watching my content. Um, again thanks for commenting on the videos. I'm up to like I almost I think 339 subscribers now so that's incredible I'm so excited I'm hoping to do a 500 subscriber giveaway so I'm gonna save some of these Hobby Lobby yarn cakes to go into that I'm not sure which colorways yet I um, haven't decided and um, I'm gonna gather a few other things for that so <coughs> excuse me um, my doggie's feeling much better now she went to the vet she had an ear infection so she's um, finished her medications and she's um, doing a lot better so that's great news um, still in my eyeglasses now and it's not because I'm giving my eyes a rest it's because my eye doctor took my contacts away from me I'm sad about that um, that, that whole thing with my eyes has just been a real struggle getting the right contact lens to fit me so we're gonna try a different type of lens here in a few weeks um, so hopefully I find something that works for me. I do okay with my eyeglasses, so it's alright. Um, I just don't particularly enjoy wearing them. And these ones are a few years old now, so I really, if I'm going to end up wearing eyeglasses, I need to get a new pair. Um, but yeah, that's basically all that's been going on. Um, this is going to be a crazy week for us. It's dance recital week, so if you have a daughter in dance, you know how that goes. We have rehearsal and... Uh, she has two classes this week, dress rehearsal and then the recital, so that's a big one. We're getting ready for prom season coming up, um, field trips, things like that. So it's this is a busy, busy time of year for us, but it's great. I love it. Um, and I'm soaking it all in because this is the last year of high school for her, and so the field trips are going to end for me, and um, it's bittersweet. I enjoy doing it, and uh, I love watching her have fun with her friends and just being a part of all of that so 
Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, give me some likes, and um, yeah, keep stitching and stay cozy. Bye, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.